welcome to another episode of What to Know. What to Know is a program to raise awareness, to inform, and to educate immigrants and refugees so they can well integrate their host community. My name is Amavi Gamon. Today, we are going to talk about renting an apartment in United States. I am with Javier Gonzalez, his insurance agent. Javier, why don't you tell us a little about what you do? Perfect. So I'm an insurance agent here in the Quad Cities, um, specifically Iowa and Illinois. Um, one of the things that we specialize in is, you know, auto insurance, home insurance, renters insurance, and life insurance. Um, we are one of the only bilingual agencies, so we really try to emphasize on the fact that we speak Spanish as well. Wow, that's beautiful. So you guys do life insurance too? Yes, yes we do. Auto insurance? Uh, life insurance? Home and renters. Home and renters. Wow, that's good to know. Yep, yes, <laughs> Tell me, um, when somebody came to United States, they want to have an apartment. Mm -hmm. So what are the do's and the don't? We know, first of all, they need to understand very well the lease agreement. But beside this, what are the do's and the don't? We know that you or you do rental insurance, which means you know a lot about <laughs> renting <laughs> because when they have problems, they come to you guys, right? Absolutely. So can you please tell us a little about this? Yeah, absolutely. So some of the things to know specifically is, you know, like you said, understanding your lease agreement, you know, because... If you come here and you start up a lease and you decide four months into it that you don't like the place, well, you might be into that lease another eight months. So when you understand your contract, it helps you understand what decisions you can make. Mm. Um, the other one is, you know, paying your bills. As easy <laughs> as that sounds, if you don't pay your rent, um, there are databases where rental companies or even landlords can look to see if you haven't paid your rent. So if that's the case, people might not give you a place to rent just because you didn't pay the rent at the last place you were at. Mm. So it's always good to pay your rent on time and just pay it in general. Um, other dues, I would say this is a big one. If you can afford it, I would highly recommend getting an inspection. That way someone comes in professionally and tells you, hey, this water heater is bad or this looks like it's unsafe for your children. Kind of gives you a real understanding of how that is. Mm. Um, Another one is ask. So this goes back to understanding your lease. You want to ask about pets. Um, <laughs> people just get an apartment and they just want to buy a dog or buy a cat right away. Um, the things to not do is don't smoke. Um, a lot of our cultures, even the Hispanic culture, um, it's all about smoking. You know, So you don't want to smoke inside your apartment because your landlord can definitely keep a lot of your money and even charge you for having to get the smoke cleaned out of the apartment. Mm. And the other don't, I would say is, don't make any changes to your apartment without asking your landlord. So no painting, no upgrading appliances, faucets, or any kind of things like that. Mm, that's good to know. Yes, ma'am. Wow, so we need to, like, sometimes, you know, that's, that's very good you said that, because sometimes some people, they think if they got evicted and they don't pay, um, maybe three months, one month of their their rent, mm -hmm. or they got evicted anyway, and they can go find another apartment. But they don't know that this will impact yes. their um, rent, their renting history. Absolutely. So that will even they will they it will they might have problem finding another apartment because this is as you said, it's all this uh database. So that's very good thing. Yep, no, nope, absolutely. <laughs> <to know. laughs> Okay, um, now let us talk about renter insurance. So if, why do I need renter insurance if my landlord already have insurance? So that is a big misunderstanding and we see it all the time. It's, we get customers that walk in and this isn't just, you know, immigrants and refugees. Even people that live in America don't understand how it works. Um, but if you're, landlord has insurance that insurance only covers the apartment or the house mm. so if it burns down they are covered they are protected because their insurance company will rebuild the home for them but for the renter you know 
this is going to be people who, like you said, uh, how we work trying to educate immigrants and refugees, mm -hmm. or maybe people that are just trying to establish themselves. When you lose everything, that creates a financial toll on you. Yes. Um, it also creates an emotional toll. Mm -hmm. That is a very traumatic experience. Yes. So when someone goes through that, the landlord's renter's insurance or landlord's insurance does not cover your belongings. Mm -hmm. You have to take a separate policy to cover your belongings. It will not get rid of the trauma, but it will help with the financial burden. And that can also help alleviate with the grieving process. Wow. So you mean even though your landlord has insurance, you still need renter insurance yes. if you live in an apartment yes because it does not cover your belongings yep when something happened yes ma'am wow okay how much coverage do i need so every person is going to be different um the amount of coverage you need depends on how much you own so a single person who's maybe going to college maybe they have five thousand ten thousand dollars worth of furniture um, this includes, you know, furniture, clothing, um, utensils, any kinds of like kitchenware, anything that's yours would be covered. But a family of four might have forty to fifty thousand dollars worth of coverage that they need. So it's going to be really dependent, and it's highly recommended you talk to an agent or someone local that you can trust because they will walk you through the steps instead of just giving you a random number. Okay, thank you. So it is expensive, the renter insurance. So again, that is renter's insurance. What I like to call in the industry is probably the most affordable policy you can get for the money. Mm. So a typical renter's insurance policy may start around five to six dollars a month. And you can go up from there up to maybe twenty dollars a month at most. So they are very, very affordable for a lot of coverage. Wow. So did you said it can be up to five to six month, six dollar per month to twenty. Yes. Wow. Hmm. So, what all does it cover? So, for starters, it's going to cover personal property. So, personal property is anything that you own. So, it would be your clothing, your furniture, um, shoes, toys, um, tables, couches. Stuff like that and one of the things to know about your company as well is are they a replacement company mm -hmm. or a cash value company so a good example is if we look at these couches mm -hmm. you know if I bought them at a garage sale for $20 a cash value company will say well these couches are 20 years old we're gonna give you $50 because that's what they're worth mm -hmm. versus a replacement company will say okay you had a three-seater and a two-seater on average, that cost about $1,000 to replace. So we're going to give you $1,000 to buy a new one. Mm. Okay. Um, and then liability. So liability is covered where essentially that is a fancy word for lawsuit insurance. <laughs> so if you were to get sued, um, it would cover you up for a certain amount of money. So if someone falls in your apartment or if you do something to somebody, um, it would cover you up to whatever your liability limits were. Oh. And the last thing and most important one is loss of use. Again, going back to someone losing their entire home to a fire. Um, if someone needed to, we would provide money so that they can get a hotel, find some temporary housing. And even I have the ability in my office to write somebody a check to go buy clothing the same day to be able to find a hotel that same day. Mm. And they can use that money for whatever they need their family uh, to do for their family at that time wow that's good to know because i remember when you're talking about hotel i remember uh we got fire in our community here mm -hmm. in a building and you know many immigrants they don't even know they many of them don't know about rent rental insurance and uh it was a big deal you know the hotel it's not easy to afford hotel for one month two months mm -hmm. by the time you're looking for an apartment you know so many of them think um you know when you 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 rent an apartment the since your landlord has insurance so they are covered too yep, so uh looking at this many of them find themselves like they have family and 
where I need to go and I have to stay in hotel, you know, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. So that's good to know that the rental insurance will cover the hotel and um, you'll give them the money to, to, for some expenses. What about um, to rent another apartment? Do you think the insurance gonna cover them? Like to rent another new apartment, something like that. So depending on who your insurance company is, yeah, um, will dictate that. What a lot of companies can do is they can help you find another apartment. Um, certain policies do and don't pay um, the next month's rent. Um, but yep, typically some companies will help you find another place to rent. Oh, thank you very much, Javier. Absolutely. So what advice can you do? How can you give our viewers right now? Absolutely. So one of the things I'll say is if you can find a local agent and you have any questions, definitely go up and talk to them. Um, they don't charge you for this service. Um, they're almost always willing to help you out and to help you understand what you're getting. And having a local agent is so much more convenient than having to stay on the phone 15, 20 minutes trying to get a hold of somebody. So my advice would be definitely do some research. And if you have any questions, you know, there's a bunch of resources available out there. Thank you, Javier. So your advice is to find a local agent mm -hmm. and to ask for what they should do. Absolutely. Thank you very much. What to know because knowledge is power. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to go to our channel to view another uh, videos that will help you to better integrate the United States. Thank you. Bye.